Unforgivable. She forced me to watch the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I think she should go to jail. Yep, that's right. Yeah, she should go to jail for that one. That one's fucking bad. You thought the finger was bad? Holy shit, look at this. Like, I've watched the Big Bang Theory a little bit, and the Big Bang Theory is for people that are my dad's age that don't understand technology, and they can be like, wow, this guy sure acts like my nerdy son <laughs> with all that computer shit, huh? Yeah, nobody knows how that stuff works anyway. Yeah, but it's like, I, I just, I, dude, it, no wrong, I saw it, bro. I fucking saw it. I, I feel like in general, any show that has a laugh track, I'm not going to want to watch. I don't care. Oh, it's a live audience. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't want to be told when to laugh. That was funny. Yeah, sure. And it's just not my thing. Okay, guys, not my fucking thing. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and MTV Cribs unreleased. Okay. What is this? Welcome to our home. You know, Amber, give us a smile. Perfect. Follow me. So as I mentioned, this table is Italian and uh, Amber, no, stop. No, Amber, no, not on the couch. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. She's learning. Oh, no. I'm about to take you where the magic happens. I spent $30,000 on these sheets imported from Egypt. Oh. Probably the best sheets I get. Amber, what are you doing? No, come on. We uh, talked about this. Stop. Spraying her? Oh. Oh. Oh, she just needs a little bit of TLC. Come on. Oh, my Look God. Right. Get her out of there. Like I said about these sheets. Makes you feel all nice and warm. Mm. Take a little Johnny snooze. Amber, no poo-poos in the bed. And now for the coup de gras, the Moroccan tiled bathroom. Yes. <sighs> Amber. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. All right. She's learning. I'm sorry about that. I think it's time for you to go. It okay. sounds the thing is like it it it's it sounds ridiculous. And then you realize that it's real. You know what I mean? It's like people reenact it and they just make it look as stupid as possible. And then somehow it ends up being even dumber than that. You know, it's a good parody. Yeah, it was decent enough. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let me go back down to there. Yeah, it does sound a little bit like him. Okay. Jar of cocaine. What's this? Um, I didn't realize at the time, but I think he was using cocaine because it was like there was a jar, a jar of cocaine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Funny. All right. There we go. Looks like Blizzard for, uh, forgot one, guys. No, the thing is, like, listen, Blizzard, we're not going to see hot girls in WoW for a really, really long time, guys. Like, that's just the facts. You might not like it, but that's the truth. Yeah, it's just don't do it, Blizzard. Yeah, that's the way it's going to go. Yeah, game saved. Exactly. Well, they've got a few other ones out there, too. You mean, like, ever? Well, and the reason why is, like, it's stupid, but I think it, the fucking company just went through a massive sexual harassment lawsuit. They're not going to bring out Alex Straza with fucking massive milkers in a chainmail bikini. It's just not going to happen. Like, as much as we think it should happen, and I agree with that, I think it definitely would happen, but it's just really... You know, like, if I was running Blizzard, would I think this is a good idea? Eh, you know, maybe not. Nah, maybe we shouldn't do this one, right? And, uh, yeah, no milkers, but we want it. I think that players do, too. I think th I think people think it's totally fine. Uh, I feel like the people that don't like it are just a small, very small, like a 1%, 2% group of very emotionally connected, uh, emotionally unstable people that uh, feel uncomfortable around video game characters that remind them of their inadequacies in real life. And I think it's pathetic. I don't like it. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of looking at it. I don't like it whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, we want boobas. Exactly. I'm a loving mother of two. Yeah, I think that, yeah, most actual... The thing, what's funny to me about it is most actual women are like, yeah, this is fine. Just give it an option. I think most... This is what I hear from a lot of, like, girls that I read posts from, etc. Is they say, we like the sexual stuff. We think that's fine. But at least give us an option if we don't like it to change and not wear armor like that. How fair is that? I think that's totally fucking fair. That's 100% fucking fair. That's what most normal people think. Yeah, exactly. That's totally fucking fair. Extremely, f exactly. 
So yes, that's what I, uh, I, I feel like most people believe that there's just a handful of people that make themselves seem like a majority. And I want to make sure people understand this, okay? Because obviously we've had conversations about this. And I think the Johnny Depp trial was another indication of this. Because if you read, if you, if you only read mainstream media, if you only read what they say in the newspapers, you think Johnny Depp, fuck it, bro. Like, as I said, like, you think he's Horalu from fucking, uh, Elden Ray? You think, you think he's an Elden Lord? Like, this guy's a fucking monster. It's Edward Scissorhands was method acting. Holy fuck! But the truth is that I think that the narrative's starting to crack. Yeah, it, it's starting to crack. People are, are realizing that these, uh, these narratives that are being pushed from the top down uh, are, are just not being accepted by the public anymore. And, and I think that's a beautiful and a great thing. I really do. I'm so happy to see this. And I think that we see this also with video games like Lost Ark. Lost Ark comes out. It's massively successful. It has obvious um, fucking like a, what's it called? Uh, sexual stereotypes. Uh, it's politically incorrect in like dozens of ways. And nobody cares. Because the people that care aren't real people. Like they're, they're these, it's like this, this imaginary group of people that like, oh, you can't do this because it'll make these people unhappy. Well, who gives a fuck about them? Who cares what they think? Who cares how they feel? Fuck them. They're 1%. Why are we going to change everything for 1% of people? It's ridiculous. I think more and more people are starting to realize that. And I think more and more companies are coming out and they're seeing that like, well, wow, whenever we do the thing that they say not to do, it sells better. Well, isn't that, ain't that something? Ain't that something? Whenever you, whenever you tailor a game to your real audience and not people who don't like your games, you have people that are happy about it. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Yeah, stop listening to Twitter. Stop listening to people that aren't your audience. I think that's the biggest mistake that people can make, is you, you listen to people who aren't your audience. PP's balanced around AWC with one healer, catering to stop 5%. Yes, exactly. They're just a louder voice. Would you say now is a good time to come back to WoW? Uh, it's it's not going to get any better uh, until the, the pre-patch, so it's up to you, man. Uh, that's it. And uh, you're doing too much of the trial. You seem to think it's going to change the world. I think it is going to change things. I, I think it's a massive... Uh, like, Do you guys agree with me? I mean, the, the trial is like a, a massive public sentiment shift. It's tremendous. I, I think it's 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 really really big, and it doesn't matter if he wins or loses because people have already made up their minds. Dude, it blew up. Yeah, it's massive. Uh, absolutely. And uh, what's this here? Blizzard censoring all sexy women tells real life women they can't be safe unless they censor themselves. Well, of course. I mean, of course it's stupid. But like the thing is, you can't apply logic to these people because they don't think logically. So like yeah, it, it, it you're, you're, it's like you, you don't throw a computer in water and expect it to just to, to swim around like a fish. It just doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, you know that's all it comes down to. Uh, maybe not the world, only in the states. Well yeah, but I mean that, nothing's gonna change out in the world. Like I mean people don't even speak the same language. All, all I'm saying is that I think that it is a massive societal shift, and yeah, I don't think me covering it makes a big difference. But like yeah, sure, uh, I think talking about it and the amount of people that are saying this, like don't you find it? Don't you find it substantial? Don't you find it important that you have something where a massive amount of people are actively refuting and saying no to a mainstream media narrative? I think that is a big fucking deal. It is a big fucking deal. And I, 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 I really honestly think that. Uh, yeah, what's this here? And uh, Rittenhouse was more important. No one gave a shit. That's because it was just some 17-year-old fucking kid. Who cares about him? Oh, we shot somebody? Who gives a fuck? Uh, they're not... They're, people aren't emotionally invested into this. They don't know him. They don't know the guy that was shot. They don't care. Uh, they care about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard because they watch their movies. It's personal to them. That's what the difference is. Terrible take? I know. Isn't humanity awful? You said it's a terrible take, but you didn't say I was wrong. Because I'm not, and you know it. Uh, I knew I'd seen his face before. Oh, come on. Come on, wow. It's just the mouth. Jesus Christ, that's rude. I had to do it? Oh, did you really? Let's see. Oh, my God. 
I don't know what to say. I mean, I see no difference. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> well, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, same. Absolutely. Find a difference. What What difference? Yeah, same thing, right, guys? Yeah, it's the same picture, guys. Holy shit. All right. Elden Ring speedruns be like, oh, I know what this is going to be, and we're going to watch it anyway. あ、もう疲れが。僕さえ、ヒスバット He's going for the zip! What? <laughs> I love how... I love how the best part of this is how his face isn't fully rendered. Because that's what it would look like if he wasn't closer. That's so much better. I love it. Okay. This is very inaccurate. This implies that there would actually be combat inside of the speedrun. Of course that wouldn't happen. WoW shoulder pads versus Moo RPG Andy shoulder pads. So I actually like the huge WoW shoulder pads. Like, I, I feel like every game needs massive shoulder pads. It doesn't need it on every single piece of gear, but they should at least be an option, okay? Like, they should absolutely at least be an option. Uh, Moo, great post uh, versus a post that's more interesting comparison, to be honest. What's a Moo RPG? An RPG that's one giant cow level. Okay, very fucking funny. Uh, what's this? This is me in my room as a teenager recording to my mother. Um. Yeah, I had a mattress like that. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then we had the, the pillow top that was peeled off. Yeah, this is just like Dylan's mattress. Yeah, yeah, and we would just sit, we just sit on the mattress. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, this is, this is very accurate. And there was a bunch of shit everywhere. And yeah, the floor was dirty. No, it looks completely fucking obvious. No, but the thing is, that bed's probably really nice. It's a nice bed. Uh, absolutely. Let me see here. I love this picture. A pig looks more comfortable on a rancid piece of trash. It's not a piece of trash. That's a normal bed, okay? That, like, I used to sleep on a bed like that. It's totally fine. Uh, well, she's not wrong. As a parent, this is accurate. This is me as a 24-year-old in my room? Exactly. I'm very happy with, uh, you know living is this your room ah uh, it's pretty close you guys should see my bedroom i want to record my uh like an every day a day in the life of asmongold right talking to you guys showing you what i do every day and how how it comes together and uh i'll probably do that i might record it tomorrow and just record myself throughout the day so you guys can see exactly what i do end of dragon song sh uh shortcut uh shout out to arthur's uh a boomer but not a quitter Okay, uh, let's see this. It's a seven minute video. I'll watch that in just a little bit, okay? Bagel Goose just got banned. Oh, this is the post right here. Yeah, it's this one that I just talked about. Asmongold and McConnell, if Twitch or YouTube didn't exist. My name is Earl. Oh, God. Hey, hey you want to go to Wendy's? That's the first thing I think of. Yeah, true and factual. Listen, man, it is what it is. Yeah, what's wrong with that? My name is that. Yeah, it's such a good show. I know. I watched the the beginning of it. It was fucking funny, man. And uh, yeah, it's about right. Yeah, d not true. As we will never apologize. Very unlikely. I couldn't stop laughing. The irony. Telegram me. 
Yeah, we've got a lot of these fake accounts on my YouTube channel. We've got to deal with these. It's pretty fucking annoying. But uh, we also have, like, these, like, OnlyFans accounts that, like, spam and they'll, like, copy-paste other messages. I read the comments on some of them. And, like, yeah, we've got to ban these, and it's really fucking annoying. Since Asmon wants to do a sword marathon, maybe combine it with Media Share Day. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. It depends on how long it takes. I might have that, uh, you know, in the back pocket if it, uh, if it gets too, too bad. Oh no, St situation Final Fantasy land right now, streamer with add-on, GM, GM, yeah, just about right. That's the way it goes. Hey, listen, don't fucking stream with the add-ons. I mean, <laughs> there were people that would stream in WoW and like they would do the same stuff. There were people that would stream with their kickbot on back in Mr. Pandaria. And the best thing about it is they never even got banned. They were streaming with an obvious kickbot and Ah, you know, it's whatever. Ah, it is what it is, guys. Yeah, with Timor for something like that. Oh, here we go. Uh, and then I have Asmongold on Friday. So I'm guessing... I don't know. I'm guessing if we do an IRL stream, it has to be either on Thursday or Friday. Or we might even do it the next week, I think. I don't know if he'll have enough time. I don't know. We gotta see. Oh, the head bobbing. So, yes. Yeah! I'm gonna be, uh, Asmund Gold is gonna be joining me on Speak of the Devil on Friday! That's right. I'm doing it. I, I said I would do it. I'm doing it. It's gonna be this Friday. That's right. I said it was gonna happen. Weird? I don't think it's weird. I don't think it's any more weird than a bunch of other stuff. Uh, to me, talking to a JPEG, it's not a JPEG. It's a GIF. Um, so, number one. Uh, number two, what time? I'm not sure which time. But, like, listen, I think it's totally fucking fine. Like, I, I, I'm i very much, guys, I'm very much open to different kinds of stuff like this. It doesn't freak me out. It doesn't weird me out. You guys have to understand, like, I grew up in Austin, Texas. Do you know what the, the, the motto for Austin, Texas is? Keep Austin weird. There are homeless 50-year-old men walking around in nightgowns uh, trying to get money. One of them actually ran for mayor back in the 90s or the 2000s, and he did pretty well. That's right. A, a straight up, his name was like Leslie, I think his last name started with a C. This dude ran for mayor of Austin. And yes, Leslie, this dude, we saw him. We, we knew Leslie, like my dad <laughs> Big surprise, my dad knew Leslie. And, and so anyway, uh, th this dude straight up fucking ran for mayor in Austin. And he would ride around on a bicycle in a dress. And he was, he his hairline was like mine. Leslie Coach ran, yeah, there you go. This guy just, he was just chilling, man. He was just fucking chilling. So if you think, if you think that this is going to stress me out, or this is going to be weird for me. Oh, wow. I'm going to draw the line at an anime girl. That's not going to happen. Like that, that's not going to happen. Yeah, that guy's a real person. Exactly. He was doing, yes, he was, he was doing, it was, yeah, he was doing it for real. Exactly. She sounds like a kid though. Well, I think that a lot of people have different kinds of voices. Uh, she says it's her natural voice. I do think that people have, like, younger voices, etc. Uh, I don't think that she sexualizes her character hardly at all, really. And I think that to the extent that, uh, you know, she does, she makes it very well known that she's an adult. And I think that's totally normal. I think that uh, the, the problem with this is, like, you can very often turn things into something weird. And I think that you shouldn't do that unless it's a legitimate case. Because I do really think that there are cases out there where you have people that are using like a, a VTuber thing to try to cultivate that type of a weird audience, right? Absolutely you do. Iron Mouse is not one of these people. And I think that pretty much all of the streamers on Twitch are not these people, but they do exist. And I think that it's so important that we are able to say that is what's wrong and not muddy the waters just because a girl has a little bit of a high-pitched voice. Please. It's a legitimate fucking thing, guys. Uh, you've changed, man. 2016, Asmongold would make fun of you? What do you mean? You guys are crazy. Like, you guys are absolutely crazy. Like, you, you, I think that you, you don't know me. Like, you don't know me. 
you you think that you know me based off of like my stream etc you don't really know me 2016 asmund gold covered his mouth every time he laughed because he didn't want people to see that he was missing teeth nowadays i am and I know that I am. And you know why? It's because I'm more comfortable being myself. I don't care anymore. I can be who I am, and it doesn't matter. I'm not sorry, I'm not going to apologize, and I'm not going to stop either. So yeah, I have changed a little bit, but not in the way you might think. So some Scar Surge Radon art that I made, I hope you guys like it. This is amazing. Yeah, this is really, really good. Holy fuck. God damn. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is it, dude. Look at that shit, man. Oh, my God. That poor horse. He's not. That's not a poor horse. Uh, Radon has mastery over gravity magic, which is why he was able to keep the stars back. And it also means that his horse uh, was not carrying him. He was not like 800 pounds or whatever. Uh, he was just a normal, you know, like a 75 pound, uh, you know, like horse jockey on him, right? The horse was totally fucking okay. I don't know a lot about Elden Ring War, but I do know a little bit, okay? I haven't even watched the Vaddy video. video. I've just seen, you know, different comments, etc. So let's go back over that poor horse. <laughs> Bro, I told y'all the story about that shit, right? Where, like, this girl in my guild, she posted a real-life picture, and she was overweight, and then another guy in my guild, and she was riding a horse, and another guy in my guild said, that poor horse, and she fucking, like, oh my god, this was, like, an ongoing drama for, uh, I don't know, a month, man, it was a lot, yeah, the legend. <laughs> That never happened? Yes, it did. It was Vesuvius that typed it. Uh, he was a death knight in our guild. Uh, that's who it was. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to say who the girl was, but it was Vesuvius. So if he ever comes back, or his brother ever comes back that would play with us, that's who it fucking was. All right? Of course he was a death knight. Yep, there you go. Um, my 10-month-old is a big fan of hitting Asmon in it. What? What the hell? What the... Uh, 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 punching me in the face? This is... It, Shit! I can't believe this! Wow, he chose violence! Yeah, this is ridiculous! It looks like a memo game board. Can he pair all the matching Asmons? Oh my god. What is this? Oh no! Guys, listen. The thing is that we play the game and it's just, this is what makes sense. This is what works, it's what makes sense. And yeah, this is totally fucking normal, guys. Yeah, I see a match. L let's see. Do we have any matches here? Um, uh, oh, yep. There we go. There's one right here. And then there's one right there. Yep, we've got that one. That's a good one, isn't it? And uh, what else do we have? Oh, you guys can't see it, but it's right below here at the bottom. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it. Yep, there's that one. And then there's that one. Oh yeah, uh, we match the faces all the all the time together. I think that's just what makes sense, honestly. Okay, what is this here? Discord app. Jesus Christ. Okay, all right. Let's go back over. We're gonna figure. Let me unga bunga her. What is this? Yeah! Jesus, that's so good! Oh my god, he just like fucking ran at her like that! Just going ape shit! Holy fuck, I mean, yeah. I, I love the really, really stupid weapons like this. I think they're fucking hilarious. Let me see here. Uh, the woman helps people uh, need to clean their house so they can break the cycle. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Damn! Holy shit!
Bro, I'm gonna be honest, I would just throw that shit away, buy a new one. Like, a, a new microwave's like 50 bucks. Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit! <laughs> She's a wizard! So look! Alright. This sink is clean compared to what my sink used to look like. I'm gonna be totally honest. Like, my sink was it, it was like it was up to about like right here or so with like black moldy water and it was like that for about uh two months and, and recently uh the water got so high that it was a pain in the ass so i cleaned it out and i just yeah it was basically i had a i had like a um a, a miniature biodome of a swamp it like, i just didn't have a miniature alligator to go in there and, uh, yeah, that's basically what it was. Why well, no maid? I've been looking to get a girlfriend for a while, but, uh, you know, it just doesn't really work out because, uh, you know. <laughs> and so, anyway, the, the fact is this, right? I, uh, I, 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 it would be great if I could clean up my stuff, and I did. I did clean up the, uh, the sink. I, the way that I handle things and the way that I handle messes in my house is I just don't look at them. So, I just, yeah, I just, I just don't look at them. So, like, let's say there's a big mess, and it's like, oh, it's really bad, and like, oh my god, well, I'm just not, I'm not gonna look at that, like, why do I have to look, because if I, if I look at it, is it really there, you know what I mean, like, is it really fucking there, with the money you have, just hire someone, I need to hire, to be honest, guys, like, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be 100% real and 200% honest, okay, like, I cannot manage my own fucking life, I have too many things, my life is out of control, I need to hire, like, an assistant or something, like, I'm, I'm not joking, like, I'm not memeing. Uh, like, the truth is, like, I, I stream now probably 30% at least more hours than I used to stream because I don't, I'm not as stressed out about streaming anymore. Uh, I, I do more things that I enjoy. Uh, you guys have been really cool about everything that I do. So I, I stream way more and, and like, like I, I'll, I'll stream for like, you know, eight hours a day, right? I used to stream for six hours a day. Like I would stream from five, like, uh, like five to seven hours, usually in the middle with about six, right? Now I'm streaming eight hours a day very regularly, not all the time. And I might need to cut that back temporarily because I need to get some, some actual other work done. Uh, but in general, uh, it, it is something that I, I, I do. And I do a lot. I also do YouTube videos and I, I do other stuff like I'm on my, you know, like on my off days. Like whenever I take a day off, keep it in mind, right? Whenever I take a day off, I only work for six hours because I have like a meeting. I have other things I need to catch up with. I have things I need to prepare for my stream, etc. right? Yeah, that, that's basically what it is. You furiously whack it. Yeah, well, that's the other fucking uh, 20, 18 hours. But in general, that that's what it is. So I, I do need to hire somebody to, to help deal with my shit. Because, like, I, I think, like, this recent uh, thing with the city, uh, it kind of, like, gave me, like, some perspective. Because I thought to myself, I'm like, when am I going to be able to even handle this? You, you know what I mean? Like, when am I going to have time to deal with this problem? And I don't know. You, you know what I mean? So I, I need to, yeah, I need to have, I need to have somebody that helps me, like, do that, that kind of stuff and, and take care of it, right? And, and like that's it sooner or later exactly and so like yeah it's just it, it's too much stress and and too much stuff it don't want it snowball yeah watch the taylor for the uh what's this here so much money you can pay someone a gardener made a cook yeah it's just that i don't like talking to people and i like being alone in my house by myself with the lights off listening to music playing video games and so it's hard for me to not do that Oh, bitch, I'm the Lunch King? Okay, yeah, very fucking funny. I, I do like this new armor set. I'll probably try to get this whenever I play Final Fantasy again. Uh, I, I definitely will. And uh, being an eccentric millionaire? I, well, to be fair, I was an eccentric uh, $10 an air. Right? 
Like, there's no change. And, like, the thing is, I don't want to change. Like, I don't want to do anything new. I, I don't want, like, I don't want, like, uh, like a brand new car. I, I, I don't want a, a big house. Like, maybe a bigger house would be nice. In a lot of ways, it would be, right? Because, like, I've, I've got, you guys send me a bunch of stuff, like P.O. Box, and, like, I've got a bunch of stuff in the house. I wish I had more room. But, like, just in general, like, I don't, I don't want a, like, a, a bigger TV. Like, I, I bought that TV right there. I bought that in 2012, 2013, somewhere around there. It was with my first fucking paycheck from the IRS. It was the best TV at Sam's Club, and it was 500 fucking dollars. Or actually, no, I, I, I was going to spend 500 but this was an LED, and it was even better. And so I said, fuck it, I'm going to spend 600 And me and Austin and my mom bought that television, and I've had it sitting right there for the whole fucking time. And you know what? It's not gonna change. I don't want a new fucking TV. I have a TV and I love that TV. And I don't need anything new. I'm happy with what I have. That's all there is to it. Uh, I don't need, yeah, I don't wanna fuck, I don't want a bunch of bullshit in my life, man. Uh, I, I care about uh, other things. You know, do you even use the TV though? Yeah, I've been watching Attack on Titan. Uh, I also, I only get caught up with JoJo, etc. right? I mean, like uh, other things, yeah, for sure. I I've been watching a lot of stuff. Not a lot, but I've been watching some stuff. Let me see this here. I decided to knowledge transfer a character. What's this? So, I watched Tasman talking about the bots in Costark. Bro, for a second I started getting PTSD from uh, TTS week. Here we go. So I decided to yeah, go have a look for myself with a new knowledge transfer character that I made. Yeah. This is on Procyon server on EU Central, so I guess. Enjoy. Also 7. Seven, seven. But I'd been forgotten, I'd go. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? But I'd been forgotten, I'd go. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Howdy, welcome to Farewell Ranch. Boys. Now your old people can be earning new money and enjoying the final years of Farewell Ranch. It's a working farm, cattle ranch, and crematorium where the cowboys are all over 75. They'll enjoy rodeos, working in the fields, and tending all the final resting places of their new friends. Does every video you do, you wear a do-rag to hide the fact that you have a clapped hairline, but all your millions of viewers know that you have a clapped hairline, and you brush it off like it's a joke, but really you're insecure about it? Hi, I'm BJ Smith. I like to lick lovingly around the outside and then thrust my tongue in the middle. I like to... So, um, this was a video about body and lost Ark. I, I think, I mean, I mean, we kind of lost the plot halfway through, right? I mean, yeah, it just kind of, I, I feel like the guy, he knew it was going to be funny and he was like, oh, this is a really good mixer song. And he just went fucking wild. I love this video. I think it's fucking hilarious. But yeah, um, oh, oh, boy. I guess. Oh. Oh, but Amazon, they can't figure this shit out. How they gonna know who the real players is and who the bots they be? How could they figure that out? How could anybody know? You think you just have one person just sit there and figure out what a bot is just by looking at them? You can't do that. How do you know where the bots are? It's a mystery. Banned. <laughs> That's the solution. I wonder if Lost Ark banned every single berserker. They could actually remove all the bots. Just ban every single berserker. Give <laughs> it up every single one.
<laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, Berserkers, yeah, get rid of them, man. Uh, no, not my main. Yeah, I know, they're gonna ban me. Listen, hey, it's a, it's a casualty. It's the way it goes. Uh, Ischian genre expanded in 25 seconds. It's got a, uh, NSFW report. Is this good for me to watch or what? Yeah, is, is this good for me to watch or no? Uh, yes it is. Okay. No, I just saw a little bit too many people saying no. I'm a little, I'm a little bit nervous. I think we're gonna skip it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I, yeah, we're gonna skip that one. Alright, Matt from Bellyware Gaming with his review on the new Final Fantasy Ultimate. I'm not going to watch this one yet, okay? Because I'm gonna watch the video of them clearing the raid first, and then I'll watch it, okay?